So j try and stay on top of that pot of multi, so nobody escapes. I think that pot of multi saved like the Sentinel team <coughs> three times during this entire match, which doesn't seem like much, but a point like this when we're 64 minutes into a game, it's like, way that's just uh, that's a hell of a lot of saves that actually come through. That's an extra 3,000 gold, which is one late, 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 late game buyback. So uh, still going to move out. Agency Model is still up on SF. 65 minutes into it. Going to go across the river. VS. VS. Going to get caught out again. SF. We doesn't have a blink to keep up the pressure. Arrow flies out. Hits SF straight in the face. So uh, Potom is in the neighborhood as well. They know that one. S uh, Necrolite now TPing up towards the top lane to try and deal with this Windrunner who's pushing out. Alchemist also heading up towards the top to give a bit of a hand. I think they should just let a Windrunner push, to be honest. It's, it's just, it's, I'm serious about this. They have a higher DPS. They should just go for a Throne Rush. Um, or a Tree Rush, in this case. <laughs> uh, I love, love the fact that there was supposed to be the TP coming in. Oh, Clockwork Goblin wants to go on Potom. Potom leaves himself away. CM drops down the ulti. And uh, there goes one rocket hit right on top of Potom's leap spot. And uh, Potom once again going into that same spot as he did last time. And will TP himself back out again to safety. Uh, because while that's happening, top lane's being pressured. ES, ulti's in. Tons, fissures, totems, hold them in place. Clockwork's there. Oh, cogs go off. Holds them in. Wind runner escaping. I don't know how, but it's managing to actually escape here. Scourge have lost one, possibly lost two. Buyback instantly coming out from Earthshaker because they just lost Necrolite. They can't play with that many heroes down. And, um, well, one, one hero, two hero, that's what each, each team actually claimed. There's 6,800 gold on top of Nevermore right now. Um, but wow, this is no slash. I actually kind of feel a little bit nostalgic at this point because as far as this game style actually goes with the mass buybacks coming through, this is going to be one of the very few last games we're actually going to see played in this style with a new version coming out. So guys, get sentimental, get teary, and then just enjoy this. Seriously, SF goes out loud because you cannot need it. It's, it's not a, anything about disables anyone. It's about DPSing. He should sell that BKB and buy a repair. He's got the money. He should do it. Mm. He's still got the Aegis. He's still got the time to go for the repair. Problem and though, when you is lose that, if, if, if he gets focused yeah. fired down, like, you're losing something massive. It is, but it, it, it's true, but you know, that's oh, what you got. Oh, Alchemist! Alchemist! Totems! Fissure! VS is caught out as well! See him gonna hold him in place! Alchemist dies! Oh, that's huge! Absolutely huge! 100 seconds is how long he's... Oh, screw it, he bought back. <laughs> he's gonna throw it down there while Potom's on the bottom lane. Manages to claim the melee racks. ES Fissure locks Potom in place. Clockwork Goblin now cogs himself in. Potom has enough for a buyback as well. God damn, the amount of money flying around at the moment. Windrunner wants to get on top of Shadowfiend. Shadowfiend pops off the, uh, the uh, Manda Star to let himself return up there without losing the Agassi model. Or no, he turns himself around. He might actually go for this one. Alchemist now returns towards that middle lane. And uh, SF goes towards the top and actually lets the Aegis pop off here. VS is going to get caught out. ES ulti. VS swaps himself to safety. Potom leaps as well. And uh, Clockwork tried to go for the ulti. Didn't get close enough. CM frosts up the Alchemist who once again slightly in over his head. SF wants to turn around. Starts now actually doing a little bit more damage. But they've lost their entire mid racks right now. And um, bottom racks is gone as well. Necrolite pushing out the Windrunner on the bottom lane. And uh, Necrolite's now a chicken. A shackle shot a chicken. Well, Alchemist dying up here on the top lane. That's a Venomancer oldie that popped off very, very quickly. And uh, Alchemist just running himself around right now. And um, there goes H-Bot. So Sentinel lose one. SF still trying to hold him off. Kalk is doing a lot of damage. And oh no, this is just so much damage coming out from 715 before he died to the Alchemist, who has now managed to pick up his own double kill up on the top, held in place by a, by a Frost Cone. Now running himself a little bit further down until Razor, the CM, the weakest of all heroes, manages to finally put the straw on his back. does break it. And uh, oh my lord, 35 to 49, and um, buybacks coming out left, right, and center. Alchemist buys back again. Potom leaps in. Could be very, very dangerous. In fact, it is very, very dangerous. He will die right now. 6 3 0 held him in place while 7 1 5 did the damage. And even then, this coach towers with the last hit. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are facing mega creeps. It is absolutely mega creeps that are now facing against the scourge. Yeah, Mega Creeps going out for Sentinel, and uh, um, uh, yeah, that Shadow Fiend now when will uh, the Aegis has popped off, he's got to get his um, his life steal. He's got to get his Satanic straight. 
it's it's uh, there's, there's no question about it. He, he needs to be uh, able to um, 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 trade auto hits with the center and the center and heroes. Mm -hmm. Needs to come out. Also, looks like we've got a bit of a uh, well, Windrun is just falling back in that middle lane. Necrolite's there to push it. I'm wondering, oh, they don't have enough time. There's not enough time. It's only 55 seconds before Blue actually comes back up again. He's the last Sentinel hero to actually respawn. And all the other lanes are currently in a little bit of dire straits uh, with Clockwork Goblin up there on the top lane. He still hasn't actually even completed his, um, his uh, Assault Curacy. He has the money to do so. He just doesn't want to risk actually losing the money for buybacks because he needs to buy back in left, right and center if any of his teammates actually go down. Necrolite has a heart, Shivas, Gwinsu, BTs and Mech. Plague Ward goes down. That is just literally cannon fodder at this point in the game. VS swaps in. That was probably not the wisest move for him because SF just dispatches him off. But Alchemist is there. Great time for Amanda Style. Cares off the Alchemist stun. Shiva's though doing a lot of damage. 715 will actually die from here. He will have to buy back. And they will also lose Necrolite from this push. That is two heroes with 100 seconds on the side there. And uh, Tis SF feed a noob is the call coming out. And I would actually half agree. That was kind of like a bit of a suicide run with just the two of them. And now the rest of them actually have to go there. But Necrolite and SF instantly buy back. They're just trying to keep these lanes pushed wherever they can. But we're 71 minutes in and everyone's just like scampering to keep everything alive. Necrolite's on the top, keeping the lane pushed out. Mid lane now forming themselves up for the Sentinel line. Can they push through? Can they actually finally put the final nail in the coffin? Which literally Soul Gaming is not letting them nail. They've like taken their hammer and said this is confiscated. You are not able to actually nail me just yet. Give it time. But 37 to 51 to come back at this point. Still a freaking awesome game, Slash. Yeah, uh, but uh, it looks very, very dim for the score set, as you see. Um, they can't push out because uh, they will always be less. And um, because and the the other guys gotta gotta could keep all the other lanes under control before the creeps finish the throne. So currently, uh, this looks oh, like oh they're gonna go, um, they're gonna go. Pipes from both teams pop off. Es goes off. Fissure. It's got a small gap for them to actually get out of. But who's trying to be holding place here? While Alchemist is damaging on the front lines. Six three zero. The Clockwork Goblin first one to actually die. Potom trying to retreat. No gem this time. But Es Aldi might be enough to do a little bit more damage. But no death pulse keeping him alive. And mass damage coming out from Potom. And uh, Clockwork Goblin now buying back. Drops the ulti. Tries to latch himself through, and uh, Potom does actually manage to die to the Shiva's guard as well as the Clockwork Goblin, who is stunning himself around at the moment. Is there support? No, there's not. It's too busy on the defense. VS walks Clockwork Goblin back in towards the main force here of NE. Another stun going off here, and uh, wow, Tier 4 Towers are under siege. CM doing what she can. SF as well. He has actually, in the end, gone for an MKB. Not enough money to buy, buy back again for him right now, and that is a lot of units now converging on top of the Frozen Throne. They will have a Glimp up their sleeve, but that is all they will have. Alchemist Stun goes on top of SF, but it's not going to be enough. But Alchemist getting uh, caught in place right now. GG Call is coming out. Clockwork Goblin's gone for a bit of a kill on the side. Um, did not manage to pull it off. It was the Sentinel that got it. But GG Call is there. 73 minutes and 4 seconds that game actually took. We see CS scores almost topping 500 there. Kill count at the end, 42 to 53. But in, in the end, it's actually in the favor of the guys with the less kills. Any push through, got the Mega Racks. And uh, Slash, I think that's the longest game of Dota I've had this year so far. Really? Was it? <laughs> 73 I, I, minutes. I, I, I think was, that's uh, got to be long. It was definitely it was long. It was, uh, it, 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 that, that one was very long. And I'm freaking tired now. <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. Um... I share your complete and utter sentiment. Um, on that note, uh, we are actually going to wrap up your shoutcasting for tonight on, an, on a good note like that. Why else would you actually want to keep going? Um, it is uh, a great way for finishing the night. So it's, it's yeah, it's over 70 minutes. Um, yes. So we'll be back with uh, more action on Sunday night is uh, my next planned shoutcast, my Mad Mordigan might shoutcast before that. Who actually knows? If you want to know, check out CyberGamerTV.com. We put them all into a CGTV timetable so you can know what's coming up. We do have Quake Live, CS and Dota all coming up on Sunday evening. Uh, if you're in Europe, that's Sunday, your daytime. And uh, it should be pretty good. And of course, all the matches from tonight will be uploaded to the Cyber Gamer Network YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, 
subscribe up there. If you don't want to subscribe up there, you can always check out the VODs. We put them up on the main page of Cyber Gamer TV. Uh, you can see them just below the main banner. And uh, you can also check out anything that has been shoutcast. You can check them out later. They're all there. We are working on making our VOD library a little bit more friendly. Um, but for the moment, you do have those highlight reels for the latest matches available. So uh, check them all out. Hope you guys had a great time tonight. I know uh, I had a good time, Slash. Um, it's hard work. Uh, I definitely did. I definitely did as well. It's really exciting match. It's been, um, it's, it's like it took, took a ball broaring phase when, when everyone was farming. And oh, I think yeah. it was actually that phase that, that made um, Soul Gaming lose it because uh, they didn't mm -hmm. push to the end when, when they had a chance to. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, in, in the end, that was, uh, it was exciting. Heroes getting caught on left and right. And uh, guys, uh, if, you, if you want to know what map awareness is, this is map control. Um, this game just showed you how important that is. Um, while mm -hmm. one single here is, this is actually the fun of Dota. Like one single decision can make or break a game. That it can. That it can. And that's why the professional gamers, well, actually work their way up to the top. It's the experience to make those decisions. And of course, hopefully while you guys watch this one, you, you learn as well. You put it into your gaming of Dota and uh, improve the whole scene. Do it. It's great. It's great. Learn. Learn. Play. Have fun. That's what it's all about. Community service message from your local friendly neighborhood shoutcaster. Gotta love it. And hopefully we'll have your company next time. I'll stop everyone Kenobi and Slash wishing everybody a fantastic day, night, afternoon, morning, wherever you are around the world. Have a great time. We'll be back with more action. So uh, I'll catch you on Sunday.